Hello YouTube! Today we're talking about killifish in the Nothobranchius genus. Most of this applies to other annual killifish also. Nothos are a small annual killifish that display some of the fa most fantastic colors of any freshwater fish. With their short lifespans, they grow quickly and breed easily. They're found in shallow waters across Central Africa and Madagascar, waters that often disappear during the dry season. So the Nothos have developed the rare ability to produce eggs that can survive in the dry soil until the rain comes again. Because of this, Notho eggs can, and in fact must, be dried and stored for some months before they'll hatch. Typically they're stored in soil, slightly damp peat or coco core. I use coco core. The duration that the eggs incubate will vary by species. Most range from two months to as long as eight months. However, environmental factors can also affect the rate of development, so the best way to know if the eggs are ready to hatch is to check them with a magnifying glass or microscope. When they're ready to hatch, you can see the eyes of the little fish through the eggshell. This tiny killifish egg is ready to hatch. You can see the large eyes, and in this instance, you can even see its heartbeat. Once they're ready, dump the soil with the ripe eggs into a bowl, and then add about two inches of water. The eggs will begin to hatch in just a few hours. The next day, many little fish are swimming around. I then decant the fry in water into a fresh tray to grow up. I usually repeat the decanting a few times to make sure that no fry are left behind. Make sure to save the old soil. There are very likely still many unhatched eggs in there. They don't all hatch at the same time. Squeeze out most of the water and then let it air dry for a few hours. Then bag it up and wet it again in a few weeks. Noto fry are tiny and are best fed infusoria for the first week or two. I feed mine green water and powdered fry foods. After the first week, I begin supplementing with vinegar eels and microworms. I use small containers so that the fry don't have to hunt too far for food. Change the water at least every third day to maintain good water quality. Moss and plants also help maintain the water quality and they provide a surface for infusoria to grow. Soon they should all be large enough to eat newly hatched baby brine shrimp. Feed small amounts two to three times a day for the first few weeks. After a month, they're about a half inch long and they're ready to be moved to a larger tank. In my experience, they're not too picky about water parameters, but they do prefer softer water with a little salt. Avoid very hard and alkaline water as it might affect the egg development. Adequate filtration is good, but they don't like a lot of current. They're used to slow streams and stagnant pools. Adults will eat just about any fish food. Mine are fed mostly small flakes and pellets. At about three months old, they're eager to breed. Provide them with a bowl containing a bit more than an inch of peat or coco core. A lid with a two inch hole helps keep the soil from spreading all over the tank. Several times a day, the dominant male will lure the female into the bowl and together the eggs are deposited into the soil and fertilized. In a few weeks, the soil in the bowl can be collected. It often has 50 to 200 eggs in it. Dump it into a very fine net, cheesecloth, or t-shirt, and then firmly squeeze the water out. Then place it in an open bowl and allow it to air dry until about half the surface layer begins to change to that lighter, dry color. This usually takes about 4 to 12 hours. Then put that dried soil into an airtight bag and label it. Depending on the species, in about two months you should check the eggs to see if they're almost ready. Then check again every few weeks until they are ready to hatch. 
Don't forget to add fresh soil and return the bulbs to your nothos. They should continue to breed and you can collect the soil every two weeks for many months. These beautiful fish do not live long, and after about a year they begin to age rapidly and quickly wither away. But they're also very eager to breed, and because the eggs must be collected and dried, they're easy to ship and trade, making them a fun, beautiful, and unique fish to keep. I would love any suggestions or questions in the comments. Please click like if you like this, and subscribe to see more. Until next time, thanks for watching.